Howdy mates, here we go. Here's a part four video. This is actually going to be a bit of a shorter one just because I've already made quite a few videos already. Anyway, this is now actually above the fort that you can actually walk on. So you can actually have a decent view of what is all around us, you know, in terms of like just the, the islands, the gulf, and even so, even the Skyway Bridge, right over here. You see that? Yep, there's the Skyway Bridge. Oh man. Anyway, I wanted to point out this plant right here. You see this? You guys ever seen these before? If you say yes, can you identify them? I'll give a hint. They actually do have relation to the famous agave, which is, of course, used to make tequila. But it's not directly the agave that we associate with tequila, but it is related. This is known as century plant, or another name that it goes by is Cecil hemp. Now, one thing that you do need to know right away is this actually is an invasive exotic plant. It was brought over from, of course, southern Mexico, and it was incorporated here. Now, Cecil hemp, not to be confused with our well-known hemp, rather, the use of this particular plant was for its fibers. So, you know, you have your stalk right here, and that's essentially where most of the fibers are extracted from. And it was mostly used for... There we go, I had to wait for those people to walk by. So, yeah. The fibers were mostly used to make rope. Mostly. And the thing is, the reason that it is called century plant is, yeah, you have the main stalk that will die within a matter of a few years, but it's technically the suckers that last longer. So we're talking these guys right down here. Now, what you also need to know is this is an example of a mature Cecil hemp. You know, they can grow up to nine meters or 30 feet. I mean, like, isn't that... <laughs> that's insane. Just... There are many, you know, forms of agave that can even grow at that height. It's just... It's astounding. But just... Oh, man. Look at that view. Like I said, this is literally the best the gulf has looked after these past couple of weeks it's just because you know we've been having our infamous red tide popping in but I do have a goal in mind for the future I have come to realize that in the distance you see that island right there it is known as Egmont Key. And apparently I've come to learn that there is a ferry that actually does take you out there. So, guess what? That is absolutely another bucket list place to go and visit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the crazy thing is, like, originally years ago when I was still figuring out schools that I wanted to attend. Echo College, which is actually just a company, it actually was a school that I had in mind of attending. But given that it was in Florida, out of state tuition, it was it was way too much. And knowing now that COVID happened. It 
just, I feel like it would have impacted my education even worse than what it already did. So, and there was, there was a good reason that I chose to just finish my education first. But yeah. You guys, take care. Enjoy your Sunday. Journey on a journey is onwards. Peace out.